Hello, my name is Daniel Spoolstra, and I'm here to give a presentation. Um, as you can see, I have one, two, three, four, five cards, and let's begin. So, have you ever had that friend who just has everything, who is so privileged, he gets the best shoes, the early access tickets, front row seating, and everything? Well, since the 2010s, America has been that best friend to the world in terms of oil supply and natural gas resources. How so? Uh, well, Rolling Stone actually says um, that America produces 60% of the world's uh, oil, oils and natural gases, and 48% uh, of which comes from fracking. Now, today I'm here to tell you guys what fracking is and the importance of it. And I'm going to go and explain to you what, uh, like, the process of it. I'm going to explain to you the uses of it that America uses, uh, how they benefit from it. I'm going to tell you guys the long-term impacts of fracking. Now, let's start with fracking and what it is. So, <clears throat> according to TED, fracking is the hy hydraulic fracturing into subterranean rock. It is... Um, you, it can be done on any terrain throughout America as long as uh, people detect uh, a certain deposit of oil or natural gases, then they're golden. Um, <clears throat> let me show you right here uh, what fracking is. So, as you can see, there's a, a little well that goes miles down, um, and you see that there's a, a 90 uh, degree angle that they make into the subterranean area, which is represented right here. And so, uh, that area they used to crack right here, as you can see it, uh, the rock where they find the deposits. You know, they use the hydro hydraulic fluid to uh, uh, pressure so high that it just cracks the rock and they get natural gases and oil from it, precious resources like that. And so, um, yeah, the uh, fluid is 90% uh, water and 10% acid. Uh, that will be important later. So, anyways. Uh, so, according to the New York Times, uh, there was this uh, Governor Ed uh, Randall, Randall of Pennsylvania that realized uh, the importance of fracking, and he uh, decided to have a lease on oil and gas uh, rights to certain areas, um, and this gave Pennsylvania a $400 million uh, dollar boost in the economy, and so that's just, so he knew it, and he was basically a prophet because it was in the early 2010s, he, he saw it coming. Uh, so this uh, set the precedent for uh, America getting valuable resources through the means of fracking. Um, uh, so uh, National Geographic says that two-thirds of gas production comes from North America in the U.S. and Canada. Um, the America Petroleum uh, Institute says that fracking uh, uh, creates more jobs, you know, uh, it's this booming thing, it's creating more jobs. Uh, Rolling Stone says that 1.7 million jobs are being made, um, uh, according to the Chamber of Commerce as well. Uh, Rolling Stone said that um, there's this guy, um, Chad Burke of the Economic Alliance Houston Ship Channel Region, who uh, invested $35 billion in uh, cheap gas. So that just goes to show how uh, these all these businesses from Pennsylvania to Houston are, um, are just investing in this money maker right now and how America is overall profiting off of it. Um, they are finding that they have multiple jobs. Um, uh, oh yeah, so yeah, they have. There's a job increase and economic increase, but what's the future impact? I'm here to tell you that too. National Geographic says that um, through fracking, uh, there's this uh, gas release, methane, and it's released into the air, um, and it creates 80% uh, more um, than regular CO2 in the span of uh, 20 years. Uh, so in order to explain that, I want to show to you the um, a metaphor, a little symbolic metaphor. Of, so this is fracking, methane being released. This is equivalent of a cigar, like smoking a cigar. Well, regular CO2 being released like through cars and whatnot, that's like a cigarette uh, and just smoking multiple. So it's like death by a thousand paper cuts and just a mass uh, amount of that being released. So. Yeah, according to Ted, uh, also if there's bad integrity, like I showed you right here, uh, bad integrity with the uh, well right here, then uh, 
it, the, the acid that I talked about earlier can break into certain water systems like this person's house right here. And that's actually happened before uh, in Pennsylvania, um, according to the Rolling Stone, um, some, uh, there were multiple people's houses uh, had um, oil, like black oil in the water supply, and it was terrible. Anyways, um, so I explained to you guys fracking, uh, how it's done in the future uses of it. I uh, explained the functions of it, the benefits, but the potential danger that can come in the future. Uh, also, I, um, in the Rolling Stone, uh, there's this guy, Seth Whitehead, who was um, a, a line of fracking. Uh, well, he uh, ran a web website that was um, uh, supported it, and he said that um, that our economy overall has uh, been bolstered and there's energy integrity, but uh, it also leaves one to question the uh, integrity of the American uh, people's health. And uh, in conclusion, this is my presentation. Yeah. What was the time? Um, you still have one minute, 59 seconds left.